connected to the O2 messaging service. The person you are calling is unable to take your call. Please leave your message after the tone. To re-record your message, key hash at any time. Hey Alex, appreciate the message bro. Um, man, just seen a news story on BBC. Not gonna lie, it's pretty surreal. I don't know how to feel about it man, honestly I really don't. If it's alright with you, I'm gonna take some time, text my friends tonight and um, yeah, I'll, I'll message you afterwards, okay? Alex, stocks, I'm coming in tomorrow morning at nine. Get our contract printed out. I'm Premier League, baby. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back, episode 6 of my player. Yes, it is time for a new season as we have joined a new team. My transfer to Burnley for a League 2 record of £12 million has just gone through. Um, so just to let you guys behind the curtain in this special bonus episode of my player and let you guys know exactly what happened. Basically, as I was ending the season, I noticed that... I'd submitted a transfer request, apparently. And I was like, what? I ain't done that shit. Someone's forged my signature. I ain't submitted a transfer request. And I found out in my uh, email that in March, during the simulation, when I was running through with my ACL to get to the end of last season, um, the manager had said I got no future at Stockport County. And it put me on the transfer list. And as you know, in FIFA Karimo, when that happens... You, you can't get off it. Once you're on the transfer list, you're on the transfer list for life. So basically, as the season was coming to an end and I was getting back to match fitness, I had two transfer offers. One was from Burnley and the other was from Al Nasser in Saudi Arabia. And I don't know, man, I just wasn't feeling that. So yeah, really it was go to Burnley or stay on the transfer list in Stockport with no future and not play any games. And um, yeah, I think it was a pretty obvious choice really where to go. So um, yeah, we've joined Burnley. This is their team. I'll run through it with you really quickly. It's really poor. Like it, this is this is the worst team in the Premier League right now. So I must say I quite like this challenge. You know, I really do. There are a couple of decent youngsters. Uh, obviously, Vatinho, uh, the youngster, is uh, is all right. Bastien is only twenty six. He's been pretty good for uh, for Burnley uh, this year under company as well. Uh, they've got this guy Darko Sherlinov, quite a quick little winger here. Looks pretty decent. And uh, Manuel uh, Scott Twine come from MK Dons as well. You know, a couple of decent youngsters but nothing special really this is this is the worst team in the Premier League so I, I quite like this challenge of trying to keep them up 
So hopefully company will make some signings between now and the first game of the season. Otherwise, we are definitely firm favourites to finish rock bottom of the Premier League this year. Our team is so bloody awful for the Premier League. But yeah, uh, you would have seen that to sign with Burnley, I would also be given a part ownership role in the esports team. In the last episode, you saw me running through the new investment opportunities that have popped up. So I thought that would be a kind of cool little idea. Burnley do have an esports team in real life. So they've given me a part ownership role. And um, I've just pressed X and now we're in progress. Huh. So my agent has also decided to update my sponsorship criteria as well. Now that I'm a rising star in English football and my play style is clearly creator as opposed to goal scorer. Um, so he's taken out Joma and Perma as I'm apparently too big for those companies. He's put them on the block list. And uh, you'll see I'll run through these really quickly here. Starting with Lotto and of course ending with Nike. They're, they're very similar apart from the fact that now the criteria is slightly a little bit more difficult. And also you'll see that the goals and assists have flipped. So now I need to get more assistance goals as that's my current play style if you so they're on the screen for you here and you'll see the updated list of criteria and as for my Instagram moments, these have also been updated as well. Because as you progress further in the player career section, you get more investment opportunities, more shopping stuff to buy. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to get a few more moments for the Instagram criteria and add a couple more brackets. So we want to hit a new milestone. That's our first transfer to a PL team. And as you'll see here, I've added two more tabs, charity and network. In charity, there are free donations I can make in the shopping section. These won't count towards the investment opportunities, however, and the network one as well. I thought it was a really cool idea. Um, when we hit four different sponsorships, New Balance, Under Armour, Puma and Adidas, I'll be able to unlock these photo opportunities. 1v1 with Kawhi Leonard if I get New Balance. Spa with Anthony Joshua if I hit Under Armour. A pick with my girl Winnie Harlow when I'm signed by Puma. And a shoot with Patrick Mahomes when I get the Adidas sponsorship as well. Alright guys, that will do it for today's episode of my player. I really hope you have enjoyed it. The editing was so fun to do, though it did take a while. So if you could leave a like, that's all I ask. I really, really would appreciate it. The love and support in the comments have been fantastic, man. So great to see you guys enjoying the same. And I hope you'll enjoy season two. I can't wait to get going, man. And in the next episode, we'll play our first game with the Clarets. Hopefully with some new teammates as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you for the next episode of my player very soon.